countdown is on until all adult arcades in Duval County are shut down. The businesses must close by 11.59 tonight, and this comes after the Jacksonville City Council pushed up the deadline several months earlier than the original February date to cease operations. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashaway is giving us a look inside the adult arcade business and the people who will be impacted. Most of us have seen them from the road. They can be bright and flashy, but not everyone has been inside an adult arcade, so I'm going to bring you in. Since December of 07. Adult arcade customers. We have probably 700 people coming in every day. Copa sits behind Cabana. 24 hours here. Dwayne Williams is the operator of both adult arcades. That was a name we started out with years ago with Sweet Steaks. We give you a card, you, put, you take the card and you go to one of these orange boxes and you put money on the card. Then you play and if you win, of course, you get paid. It's not a slot machine by any means. It's not, it's, uh, not really gambling if you get right down to it because that's how the Sweet Steak rule reads. They're not slots. No, oh, no, they're not even close to slots. They're not even close to slots. No, absolutely not. And they're not gambling. They're not gambling. Then what are they if they're not slots? Well, they're literally considered sweet steaks machines. Williams says between the two game rooms, he has 18 employees. All will be without jobs at midnight. What do you want city leaders to know? Well, I'm going to say I'll miss it. I wish the city council would uh, act like the government uh, that they ought to and and look at this thing and say, hey, let's give these people to February. Let's get them through the holidays. We don't need to put 2,700 people out of work right now. Richard Vigilante. Twice a week. Is a longtime customer of COPA. I live with myself to 20 hours. He says there have been many times he's won a lot of money. $1,200. Some people have brought up the idea of giving away merchandise versus cash prizes. If that were the case, would you still come here? No. I don't need merchandise. I come for the enjoyment of playing. <laughs> but tonight, as luck would have it, nobody will be hitting the jackpot. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.